All right, so this is uh, block three, lecture one on sovereignty. Uh, sovereignty is an important social studies term. Um, we use it lots of places with lots of things um, and talking about government uh, and power and good social studies, things like that. Uh, and to figure out kind of what it means, let's look at the root of the word. And the root of the word is sovereign. And a sovereign is just a fancy way uh, to say a king or a queen. Uh, and what sovereignty is at its heart is who has the ultimate authority in any polity. Now, polity is another one of those social studies words that we should talk about. Um, a polity is from the Greek word polis, which means uh, city-state. Uh, and what a polity is, uh, is a catch-all term for um, anything with a government. A town, a county, a city, a village, a hamlet, a country, an empire. Um, anything with a government is a polity. So when I want to talk about, um, when I want to talk about and lump countries and empires and states and cities all together, that's a polity. Sovereignty is simply defined as who has ultimate authority in that polity. And ultimate authority traditionally is defined as um, who gets to legitimately use violence um, in a polity. Who gets to legitimately use force. Um, that in, except in cases of self-defense, I don't have the right to go around using force on people. Uh, but the police, for example, do, and the army, for example, does. That if um, who has the right to use that force is really who is sovereign in a country. Um, in the United States, sovereignty lies in the people. That it does not lie in the president, it does not lie in Congress, it does not lie in the Constitution or the Supreme Court or the, the bureaucracy or the media or anything like that. That in the end, uh, in America and in any free country really, sovereignty lies in the people. And because if we don't like the president, we can vote him out. And if we don't like Congress, in theory, we can get rid of all 435 of them uh, next year if we are so. I actually made this video last night and then somehow it got deleted uh, when it was supposed to be uploading to YouTube. So here I am in school doing it the day before you guys were supposed to watch it. I'm so awful. Um, so in America, uh, the people have a right through state conventions to, uh, to amend the Constitution. Said sovereignty in America lies in the people. And in any free country, really, today, uh, that's where sovereignty uh, lies. Um, not all countries are free. And then Hitler's Germany, for example, all power flowed from Hitler. Um, sovereignty becomes a big issue in the 13 colonies, uh, in the fight against Great Britain, because the question was going to be where was ultimate authority going to lie? Was it going to lie in king and parliament across the ocean? Or was it going to lie uh, in the local uh, legislatures that people had been depending on and following their rules for many, many generations? The problem that kind of came up in America with sovereignty is that although king and parliament were always technically sovereign, uh, during that period of salutary neglect when the colonies just kind of grew up um, by themselves, um, it seemed very much so that the sovereignty in Virginia lay in the House of Burgesses. And it seemed that the sovereignty in Pennsylvania lay in the Pennsylvania legislature. And the sovereignty in New Jersey lay in the New Jersey legislature. That when Britain tries to reassert its sovereign rights over the colonies, that's when stuff is going to turn hairy. Sovereignty is ultimate authority in any polity. What power has the right to use force? Uh, and from where does all power in the end flow? And that's the concept of sovereignty.